Well, we're uh, out here in the camper today. We're going to try to do a mod. Um, I got the sniffles for some reason. They're worse than all the allergies are kicking in. It's in the fall here. Uh, I'm Tom, KC0VII. Uh, TLJ is actually out front playing in the dirt. She's bringing in some urns that are downtown and out in the cemeteries. They uh, getting closer. We're supposed to have a freeze, good freeze uh, this week. So she wants to get them all taken out, uh, get them in the greenhouse so they're uh, growing, ready to go next fall. Excuse me, next spring, get them in for the fall. Um, one thing you'll notice on most campers, it doesn't matter if it's a tow trailer, uh, fifth wheel, or a uh, Class C or Class A motorhome, a lot of the, if they have a window in the door, it's a frosted glass. Yeah, one thing that is nice about it lets the light in, but one bad thing about it, if somebody comes up and knocks on your door, no matter what time it is, middle of the day or middle of the night, you can't see through the frosted glass to see what the, what it's like, you know, who it is at the door. Um, the other day, was, about a week ago, I was actually doing some look on the internet for a, a lens for a camera that I picked up, and when you have a short attention span like I do, it doesn't take much to go squirrel and you know find something else. Um, came across a couple uh, videos. Uh, one put up by I Love RV Light, and the other one by Ed. Ed, I'm sorry, I'm going to really chew your name up. Uh, C C Z A something Krasaus or something like that. Sorry about that. Um, they. I uh, had a couple videos, and if you do a search, there's quite a few videos out here. Uh, this is by a company called AP Products. Uh, if you go just do a general search on the internet, and uh, they have a lot of different products out there, not just for RVs or stuff around the home and for cars. Um, this is a clear glass um, with a shade you pull down, and it's the same size, you know, as what size holes that we have in the camper. Uh, doing some more checking, I think there was only one vendor for windows for uh, the doors to put on the camper. So, um, one nice thing they did standard something, it seems like. Um, this, do you get it in here to St. Ansgar? The, um, where did you get this off? Amazon or somewhere online? It was under $100, the product plus shipping on it. Um, the instructions are, yeah, okay. Um, one thing they do recommend is that you take and put blue tape on the existing window on the outside so when you remove the screws on the inside, it doesn't fall out. Kind of look like a Keystone Cop deal. Um, for your younger people, just Google that. Um, you got two pieces here. The glass is on the outside piece. There is a slight or a good size amount of uh, 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 weather stripping that holds the glass in temporarily. But we're still going to put some blue tape on that so it doesn't fall on the inside. The, um, the inside piece, there is no up or down or top or bottom on this. Uh, the only thing that's different is the spacing where these little tabs are. The top and bottom, the top's a little bit bigger because the actual Venetian blind, um, there's more, you know, of it to fit on top. And one thing that uh, both the I Love RV Life and Ed were talking about is getting us to stay in there because these little tabs that are here are just to hold it in place until you get the other side in. Then it kind of keeps it into place. Uh, one thing I want to try, I brought a little glue, tube of super glue, just put a couple dabs of super glue just to hold this in until we can get it snapped in. Hopefully I don't super glue my fingers to something else that shouldn't be. Um, so it um, should be a nice little improvement and it shouldn't take that long. Both guys were saying it takes less than an hour to install it. Um, so we'll give it a shot here. I'll start, uh, I'll move the camera outside and we'll just go through and do this. Um, as you can see, see if I can, oops, not that one. I'll pan over here so you can see the door from the inside. You know, we got a frosted glass here. You can't really see out, but that's light, enough light in. Now, one downside is, and you're going to get this in no matter what type of product you get, is with the screen door, you won't be able to adjust the shade up or down. You have to still open the door and pull the shade down at night. There are a couple versions of this where there's a lever that comes down, and instead of being a vertical, you know, horizontal shade that comes down, there are vertical slides that go, you know, horizontally left to right. Um, to me, that just seemed like a lot more bother. Um, because usually we'd like to keep that open. It would be really nice, especially when you go down the freeway and you come up to a uh, an entrance to the freeway. Uh, even though we got this window here and the mirror, there's still times there will be a car or a truck coming down that uh, entrance ramp to the freeway. And I just can't see them through the window or the mirror because they're so far out, you know, further out. Um, and when you got an old vehicle like this that doesn't have overdrive, you know, she's geared to go about 60, 65 down the freeway in most freeways right now. Uh, speeds up to 70 or, or if you're in Montana or Wyoming, I guess it's 80 out there um, So um, we'll get going here. Okay, as you can see the weather strip on this one is starting to peel off 
Um, and there was some signs on the inside when we got uh, the camper but at Lincoln, that's why I put a V clock across the top here, thinking that it might be coming through that. Um, so the first thing we'll do is take our blue tape. but not quite. Um, pretty much just like the replacement one inside. Um, we'll uh, get this cleaned up a little bit. And <laughs> okay, got to a point where I needed an extra pan, so I went and got TLJ. She's playing with the dirt, so we're gonna punch them around the open the door okay. and wash the glass. So it's all, we put a couple pieces of blue tape on the glass so it can't fall out. Can you reach up there just to make sure it doesn't fall out? Yeah. How's that look? Good. I'll put a couple extra pieces just to make sure. Uh, one part I did not show on the video Took off a little bit of dirt and grime. It looks like somebody else tried to fix it with some weather stripping. Thank you. Okay. Leave it there. Go clean your dirt. Okay. Bye. Okay. Now I got the pull part, the handle on the shade on the right side. A little embarrassing there. Put a couple extra drops of super glue. And we'll give this a second try. Back pocket. Thank you. Okay. All the screws are done. Take off our blue tape. Hopefully the window doesn't fall out. Hopefully this weekend, or maybe Monday or Tuesday, it's going to be a little nicer on the uh, rain front. Uh, I've still got some caulking I've got to do on the old girl. I'll put a new bead across the top, just to make sure I don't get any leakage in there. Um, and that, window's in good. Okay, we uh, are done. I um, kind of went through and when I was editing, there's a lot of shots I cut out. Uh, pretty much, I did not show you um, when we took the old window out. I cleaned it. Uh, there was some evidence that somebody tried using some uh, material on there, like I said in the video. Um, I didn't, no need for you to see that. And once we got the screws, starting to put the new screws in, that was kind of boring, you know, tighten those up. Goes a lot fast with a you know, a screw gun or a, screw, um, a drill, but you don't want to be careful. You don't want to over tighten them uh, and strip out that little plastic boss where the screw goes into. Then you'd be really up a crick. Um, if you got a drill with a clutch, I'd set the clutch down as low as possible and then go through and snug them up with a screwdriver. Um, just be on the safe side. Hey, you know, you spent good money on something like this. You hate to mess up on a little mistake like that. Um, got a little glare coming in here. So it, it's a little later in the afternoon, uh, but like I said, we'll. Uh, Go here as you can see the the window is completed um, the the shade is up on it it looks pretty good and when you go to close it like so it gets a nice little you know privacy at night so it uh, for a uh, for hundred dollars it wasn't a bad upgrade to the motor room like it says the uh, the side window is going to be real nice going down the freeway. Um, a lot of times, you know, you get a car coming down an entrance ramp or that, you know, coming in, you can't see them in the side mirror because they're too far out, and that will do good. Um, all in all, it, didn't, it was less than 45 minutes, I'd say, you know, after going through everything. Um, 
which is like I said, is a nice, simple little project. You can uh, upgrade your motorhome. Uh, TLJ thought it looked nice on the outside because it now matched the trim around the other windows. Uh, all the other windows are black trim. This door was a white trim on it. So, on that, 7 3 everybody. Uh, be sure if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments on anything you want, put it down below. Um, there's some other projects I'm going to be working on this week. I'm on vacation. And TLJ wanted to know if I was going to videotape them all. So I said, I don't think so. Uh, winterizing and clocking, that's pretty well straightforward. Uh, if you want to know how to winterize an RV, just do a search on the internet. There's quite a good videos out there. Uh, one of the big problems is there's so many different types of motorhomes, anywhere from tow trailers to your big Class A's, new ones to old ones. Um, most of the newer ones, you have a little command center with all the valves and stuff. You you know put the jug of RV antifreeze in, it'll pump it through the system. Uh, an older uh, setup like I got here, now there's a lot of valves you got. No, there's actually no valves to do anything. You just have to undo the hoses and you know and add their uh, RV antifreeze to it. It's a little more time consuming, not like the bigger rigs or the newer rigs. So, well, like I says, guys, take care. Seven three. Catch you up later.